Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy Noah back again with another YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I help people awaken to their true abilities through wellness and spirituality. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, like I said before. Today is Earth Day. So happy Bur Earth Day. <laughs> it's about to say happy birthday, but happy Earth Day to you all. More importantly, it is the start of Taurus season, which is the best season, right? If you guys don't know, I'm a Taurus, so obviously Taurus season is the best season for me. And I want to celebrate today's Earth Day by offering you kind of how you can contribute to Earth Day today and for years to come. You see, a lot of us, we, when we talk about Earth Day, you know, Obviously, picking up trash and recycling, that's a huge part of taking care of the earth. But I want to talk about something a little bit different that isn't really shared about. It's not talked about as frequently. It's not talked about as often. And if you want to con contribute to Earth Day and you don't really know how to, start by consuming less meat. You might be like, what? Consuming less meat? I eat meat every day. And, you know, I think that when we consume less meat, we have to understand firstly that the meat and dairy industry, the animal agriculture industry, I should say, prioritizes a lot about using water. You know, there's so much water being used to treat their animals, right? To feed them. You know, something that we don't understand is a lot of these animals are pooping and peeing just wherever. You know, and it's important for us to understand that we, our body isn't designed to eat meat. You know, and that might sound crazy, right? I used to eat meat every single day. Meat was on the menu for me daily, right? I used to be a huge meat eater for 18, you know, 19 years of my life, right? It was until I learned the benefit of a plant-based diet, that was when ultimately I became free. You see, something that we don't talk about on Earth Day is how many animals are getting slaughtered each and every day, each and every year. Sorry about the, um, if you can hear the leaf blower in the background, somebody's doing some yard work, but they don't really necessarily talk about how many animals are getting slaughtered each and every year. You know, these animals don't want to be killed, right? They're, they're suffering a very anxiety inducing and just traumatic experience by getting slaughtered. And so something that we have to understand is that when we eat meat, we are determining that we don't really care for that animal's life. You know, and it's not it's not our fault, right? Meat is everywhere in our in today's society. And like I said before, it's not our fault because we see it everywhere, right? So it's normal. But something that we have to realize is that these animals are suffering and dying just for our consumption. You know, so one way that we can contribute today and every year on Earth Day is consuming less meat. right? Because we have to understand that when we eat meat, a lot of the processed red meat that we have in our diet is actually labeled by the World Health Organization as a 
carcinogen, which is a chemical that's actually found in cigarettes. And so when we eat meat, we're not only doing destruction to the animals, right? We're also doing destruction to our bodies because our bodies aren't used to, you know, they're not designed to consume meat. We're not carnivores. You know, we're, you know, there's a myth going around that we are actually omnivores, meaning that we eat meat and plants. But the truth is we are frugivores. We're, our body is designed to eat alkaline, organic, whole grown fruits and vegetables. And so when we eat foods like, the, like these, that's when our body can thrive. And that's when we don't have to feel sorry for the animal because the animal didn't do anything to you. Yet we're doing, we're taking part in exterminating our whole ecosystem by consuming meat. You know, and like I said before, it's not our fault, right? But something that we have to realize that's important about the human body is that when we eat meat, our body tends to produce a lot of mucus. There's a, um, there's a cause, there's a buildup of mucus that happens within our bodies. And this can cause long-term health effects like cardiac arrest, as well as cardiac disease, right? The mucus buildup can actually cause blockages in our arteries that lead to, like I said before, cardiac arrest, right? Heart attacks, high blood pressure. These are all significant detriments to the human body, right? Whereas if we were eating a vegan diet where there's no animal products involved at all, that would not only be better for our human system, but better for the ecosystem as a collective. You see, because we, we feel that we are entitled to animal consumption just because they can't do anything about it. But in reality, we have to understand that animals are just as conscious as we are. And they're sentient beings. And so when we're consuming meat, we don't understand the level of trauma that the animal goes through before we actually consume it. And when we start to realize this, we can have start to have a, an appreciation for animals, right? We can start to have an appreciation for animals as well as our, our own bodies because we're doing a service to both of them. And by not killing off millions and millions of animals each and every year, this can cause a significant increase in the ecosystem. And it can be a big contribution as to contributing on not only Earth Day, right? But every day, every single Earth Day this year moving forward, right? Every single Earth Day in the years to come, we can consciously make the choice to consume less meat. And, you know, this is going to be hard at first because our body is addicted. You know, when we eat meat, our body can be addicted to this food because it's so tasty, right? We, we enjoy the taste of it so much, but we don't actually really understand a lot of the cause that it has on our body as well as the level of trauma that these animals go through. And so all of that negative traumatic energy that these animals unfortunately have to experience is all being transferred onto your plate whenever you're eating that meat. You know, and I hate to be that vegan guy who is very strict on people because I don't think that, you know, I think that in terms of veganism, I think we have to let people live their lives, you know, but at the end of the day, I want to come on here and bring awareness to this situation because it's very important to me and it's dear to my heart. 
And so that is why I have chosen to come on today to talk about how we can contribute to the earth, right? That isn't very popular, but it is definitely a very big issue in today's society. We have to start awakening to who we truly are, right? When we start awakening to who we truly are, we start to realize that we don't need to eat meat. That meat is, isn't necessary for the human body to thrive. It's not necessary for us to live a healthy and happy life. And once we understand that, we can enjoy life and be grateful for life itself, right? We can be grateful for the things that we have. And we can also be grateful that we didn't contribute into a mass murder that a lot of animals are going through each and every day. And so, with that being said, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. I really just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about this issue that has been on my mind for a while. I've made a couple other videos on how veganism can actually save the planet as well. So if you want to check those out, it'll be in my one of my playlists in the description as well. And if you guys want to contribute even more than not eating meat you can if you want to go a step further in terms of your health go ahead and click the one of the links in my description that will give you access on the best mushrooms medicinal mushrooms that i have had as well as you can get the ultimate elixir that has 25 different superfoods all combined into a powder very good stuff increases cognitive function right and automatically just good for the soul so if you want discount you can get up to 25 percent off of these products if you click the link in my description and shoot me a dm if you want to hop on a call with me but with that being said my friends have a wonderful afternoon morning or night wherever you're at if you have any suggestions for future video topics that you want me to talk about, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. And have a wonderful afternoon, morning, or night, wherever you're at, like I said before. And peace, love, and happiness to you. Mwah.